Hello, beautiful creators. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, helping you raise your vibration so you can live your best life. Wanted to chat with you guys today about anger. I know that for me, at least the last couple of weeks, uh, there's been high levels of frustration, aggression, anger, either for me or people around me. Um, And it's not surprising. The astrological environment uh, would suggest that that's pretty normal. I won't go into the details of the alignments, but um, they're complex. And so really what we need to know today is just that it's normal and you're not alone. So as with everything in life, it all has a purpose. And I think I finally got it. (laughs) Uh, Not without some struggles and um, some questioning and, and lots of introspection. Have I finally come to a place where I can understand what's going on and how to work with it? So wanted to help you guys with that. Um, So like I said, I've been working with it myself. Um, It's been challenging. I'm not typically the aggressive type, Um, usually pretty passive. In fact, I've been accused of being too passive. So feeling frustration and aggression um, is pretty uncommon for me. So when it is an extended period of time, Um, and it consistently keeps coming up. That's when I know it's kind of, you know, like the, the universal red flag that says, Hey, pay attention. Something's up here. So, um, yeah, it's been going on since, um, I think after shortly after the Labor Day weekend, um, and I've really seen it out in the world as well. Lots of people, um, (laughs) driving angrily, cutting people off, lots of fingers flying. Um, Luckily not at me, but just noticing that that is happening. So um, thought it was necessary to bring it up with you guys as well. So for me, as far as kind of what my recent triggers were um, today, getting the kids ready for school. um, They started school three weeks ago now. And it is pretty common to to have challenges getting ready in the morning, um, whether or not they don't want to get out of bed or they take 30 minutes to get dressed or they're stopping to play at every chance they can. Um, there's always something. So that's kind of, you know, an ongoing standard thing. Um, but then you add to that that we have a young puppy. Um, well, he doesn't look young anymore. He looks like an adult dog that still acts like a puppy. Um, he's nine months old and um, he's having some challenges with his training and so we're getting ready for school struggling with staying on time add to that some potty training challenges which adds you know some cleaning and some delay and some aggravation there and then I like to kind of have things um, scheduled to look forward to to kind of help me get through the day-to-day you know I'm a single mom and trying to handle everything on your own and not really having a lot of breaks, it does require some extra incentive. So, you know, I have things planned to look forward to. And of course my plans for tomorrow and the next couple of days um, were rescheduled. And so it was just kind of one thing after the other. And I found myself um, being short with the kids. And, you know, of course you have to scold the dog and, and that creates an aggressive, uncomfortable, yucky feeling for me that I really don't like. I don't like feeling uh, negativity. I work very hard on keeping my my vibration high. And so when um, external influences keep triggering me, um, that's the indicator there's something to work on. So as we know, as within, so without, right? So yes, granted, it looks like these external things are what's triggering the emotion, but really there's something inside that needs to be worked on. So uh, yeah, the kids relate to school. <laughs> Needless to say, I was feeling frustrated and deflated. And so um, I decided to go on our, our walk. I usually do with the dogs in the morning. It helps to kind of, you know, move the energy. And that's separate from whatever workout I have planned. But um, on my walk, you know, I was doing all of the different exercises, lots of deep breathing, right? When we're feeling angry, we need to take a deep breath, get present, really feel what we're feeling. Um, clenching your muscles and then releasing your muscles and clenching your muscles and releasing your muscles that can also help um, it's sending the signal to the body that we need to to decompress um, you know anger aggression flight or fight all those things are natural but they're intended to be temporary and so we need to send that signal it's time to release 
Um, also did a chakra cleansing meditation, did an energy cleansing meditation, um, and I still was just not really feeling the density and the heaviness lift the way that I know that it needed to. And so I turned on some spa music, had my headphones in, going for an extra long walk today, um, and just really decided to sit with it. And there's a fun exercise that I um, actually learned in the corporate world, but it works really well, especially for identifying issues internally, working through things, identifying core beliefs. Um, it's called the five whys. I've also heard to, heard it referred to as the seven whys. doesn't really matter how many whys you ask, just the point is getting to the bottom. Um, and so I used the, um, the dog situation um, as an example to, to dig into what was causing these feelings. And so I started, you know, just with essentially asking the question, why does this potty training setback bother me? And the answer is because it causes delay and it causes a lot of cleaning and that's frustrating. And so then the next question is, well, why does the cleaning cause frustration? And the answer is because I have a lot of cleaning to do. There's always a lot to do. The to-do list is huge. Um, and so then the question again, I have to check my notes to make sure I get to five. <laughs> um, then the question again becomes, well, why does a large to-do list bother you, right? It's just a list. The things are not really going anywhere. It's always going to be there to do. Um, so then I have to ask again, well, that, you know, that bothers me because I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I don't get a lot of breaks. There's, you know, not a lot of time for me. And it just seems that it's never ending. And so then, okay, well, why does that never ending list bother you? And eventually I get to, and I think I'm on four and somehow there was five in there, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, just getting to the bottom. The point that I came to was the fear that this will always be the same. And it's very interesting how, you know, a moment of correction and cleaning in a subconscious manner leads to my life is always going to be difficult or it's always been this way or it'll never get better and it's a, it's a fear and essentially if you can get to the fear through five whys or seven whys or however many whys once you get to the fear that's usually the the subconscious belief that's keeping you in this place and so I've left that place that's no longer a conscious belief, I know that I can see there's evidence that my life is getting better. It's amazing. It's enjoyable. I love it. I have freedom. I have the life that I wanted to live. And yet still subconsciously, there was a belief in there that needed correction. And so that was God, the universe, my higher self's way of bringing that to my attention to say, hey, you need to work on this because it's not just getting ready for school today. This is everything else that you are working on is being limited by this belief that life is always going to be difficult. And so that's the story that I was telling myself and, and even more surprisingly, subconsciously and not even consciously. And so that's the fun stuff is when we start to wake up to and we start to see what's happening in the subconscious, we can consciously change it. Once you shine light on it, it's already dissolving. Um, so yes, old outdated fears and beliefs got to go. Um, that is awesome because now I can understand what was um, subconsciously or unconsciously controlling my reactions to daily life. So that is exciting that we get to change that and hopefully address um, the issues going forward. Um, so once you've identified it, that's only half of it, right? That's the first exercise. The second exercise is what are all of the different, there's different pieces that lead up to or support that belief. There's many, many legs to the stool, if you will. So, you know, the seat that we sit on is life is always difficult, but underneath that, there are many more beliefs that support that and keep it active. So uh, there's an exercise that I really like to do. It's called, I feel blank because blank. So you take a piece of paper, and you fold it in half, draw a line down the middle, and on the left column, write, I feel blank because blank. So I feel frustrated because I always have a lot to do. I believe, I feel my life will always be difficult because it always has been. And whatever uh, things come to mind, 
be open to the way it's going to flow. It's going to shift a little bit or, or a lot. And you probably should be able to fill at least one page on the left column, if not two. I usually go about two pages. You will hit resistance. You'll get you know, three quarters of the way down the page and feel like, okay, I've said enough, I'm done. Or, hey, I got a text message. Or, hey, the dog wants to go for a walk. You know, all of these distractions will try to come in to keep you from moving through the process, but really push through at bare minimum a full page, if not two pages. And you will find some pretty surprising and interesting things that you feel and believe and for different reasons that you didn't realize were connected. So, you're going to feel kind of yucky as you move through it. This is the yuck, but we're getting it out, right? And so then the next step of the process on the right side of the page for each of those bullet points, you'll have an opposing bullet point. And now you're going to need to write the opposite of the false belief or the limiting belief in the left column in the right column. So I feel life is always going to be difficult because I always have a lot to do and I never have help. So the opposite statement becomes and it needs to be written in the present tense even if it's not currently true so the opposite statement is i feel excited about my life because it is getting easier and easier every day in every way and i see evidence of it already right so current state so i already see the evidence that is proving that my life is not difficult, that it's enjoyable and I love my life and I feel enthused and amazed and exuberant and alive because of it, right? And so you're gonna go down the right side of the page and write all of your current state opposite beliefs to match the negative belief on the left column. Then once you've filled the right column to match the left column for as many pages as you have, cut them down the middle cut out those old beliefs, cut it down the middle, take the left two pieces of paper, the negative beliefs, and burn them. Now I need you to do this safely. I am not responsible. This is my legal disclaimer. If you do this irresponsibly and burn down your house, it's not my fault. Um, (laughs) I have a a small metal burn um, pit, fire pit, I guess you would say outside in the backyard. You can use a metal trash can. You can use a metal sink if it's contained. Again, not responsible for your irresponsibility (laughs) if this is not done properly, Um, but burn it if you can. Bury it if you can't, um, tear it up into a million pieces, flush it down the toilet in some way, rid that energy from your life. And I like to say a prayer. Thank you, God, for taking this from me. I fully surrender it to you. This is no longer mine. You fight my battles for me. Um, universe thank you for transmuting this energy from negative to positive I am creating my highest potential now right get rid of it and then I like to keep my positive statements on my desk or somewhere visible um, on your mirror in your bathroom somewhere you're gonna see them often and you're gonna want to go through and highlight all those positive feelings I feel alive I feel excited I feel exuberant really remind yourself of the feeling of it, right? You're embodying this feeling and it's going to come from the mind. It's going to come from the thoughts, but the emotion, the vibration, right? We keep our vibrations high. This is all scientific, right? If you can look at the studies where um, positive intention creates beautiful crystals in water or sand on a drum with a higher vibration creates more complex, more beautiful structures in the sand. This is not woo woo guys. This is science right? A particle observed changes with consciousness, period. So again, this is critical, right? Start to feel it, start to vibrate in that, that essence and that, um, that frequency so that you can start to draw to you, um, what it is you desire and get rid of those subconscious beliefs. So yeah, going back to anger, anger is a natural emotion. All negative emotion is natural and it, his purpose. It has a message in it for us. The key is to not get stuck in it, right? Anger usually comes from pain. And if you notice, we got to fear. And for me, certainly the past 
create a lot of pain. And so there's a fear of feeling that pain forever and that comes out as aggression. That's also part of the healing process, right? The grieving process, the anger is a piece of it. And so we're just speeding up the process to get down to what's driving this, how do we uproot it, pull it like a weed so that you've got the roots and it'll never come back. It's like, I got you, dandelions are good by the way. We'll get to that another day. Um, but yeah, anger can occur when people don't feel well, when they feel rejected, they feel threatened or experience some kind of loss. So just re remember that underneath that anger is a hurting inner child that just wants some love, needs to be seen, needs to be felt. Sit with the feeling. Notice where in your body do you feel it? I, I notice with, with anger, you know, it's in the throat, it's in the neck, um, it's in my heart sometimes in my stomach a little bit, um, but definitely in here. And so really being with that and, and feeling the release as you write out your negative and positive, uh, your negative beliefs and positive intentions, um, you'll start to feel that release. So it's, it's normal, but don't stay there. The key is not to stay there because anger actually is very, very bad for your health. And we've talked about, you know, what's happening in the brain when you're having these negative thoughts, you're releasing literal chemical cocktails into your body that are destructive and they create dis-ease, right? Disease is dis-ease in the body. And it all starts with the mind. We can heal and cre uh, create, heal and, um, change our lives with our minds we can also destroy with our minds and so get it get it out of there right that's the, the trick you got to move on we can't stay there yes yeah, so everything's designed to teach us something even anger um oh one point i missed thank goodness for notes um going back to sort of the the things that i discovered when i was on that left side of the column and i'm, I'm going through why do i fear uh, my life always being difficult. Um, I came to the point that life and sometimes is boring. And I know that doesn't sound so dramatic, but if we, if we all are bored with life when we find life is dull and it's just challenging and there's not a lot of positive balance, there's not enough reward, right? We have this pleasure, pleasure, um, attraction and pain resistance. We try to avoid pain and we pursue pleasure, but if there's not enough pleasure, if our lives are dull, boring, difficult, hard, unfulfilling, we are going to want to escape. We're going to feel depressed. We're going to feel um, a desire to numb out and run away. And that is not how life is supposed to be. This is I think at the crux of a lot of people's issues where we've been told, right, the prescription of what we should do with our lives is not fulfilling and our souls are dying and desperate for some kind of outlet to, to exercise our gifts, to live our purpose. And that's why I do everything that I do is because I felt that negative state where I wanted to numb out and where I wanted to escape and I wanted to run away. Life is lackluster. Like I've got to do the nine to five and the lunches and the laundry and the kids and the sports and the da 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 da. And the end of the day, I'm done. There's nothing left for me and I got to get up and do it again tomorrow, right? And that's not selfish. We can't pour from, from an empty cup. We get on an airplane and we need to put our mask on first so that we can help our kids, so that we can help our friends and our family. And filling our cup or putting our mask on means fulfillment. It means having something to look forward to. It means having a life worth living. And all of that comes from purpose. All of that comes from the value that we were given. We were designed perfectly and perfect for the purpose that we have in this world. And if we're not living it and we're not feeling it, we're going to want to escape. We're going to want to run away. We're going to want to quit. We're going to feel bored and lackluster and lack fulfillment. So comment below. Have you ever felt this? I did a recent survey and I was shocked that hundreds of people are like, yes, me, yes, me, yes, me. I think this is a systemic societal issue. We They should all over us and nobody is able to sit down and say, I need to fill my cup with this. This is my prescription and it's different than yours. So I'd really love to hear from you. Comment below. Tell me, 
have you felt this recently? And I wouldn't be surprised if a, a large majority of us are feeling that, especially with the astrological alignment. So if you're struggling with boredom in your life and you're lacking fulfillment and you're looking for your life purpose, I have developed a free meditation for you. It's in the comments below. Um, should be right at the top there. Free, absolutely 100% free. 100% um, free and a thousand percent fun. So take some time to chill and just start to think about what what is going to fulfill you and what's going to make your life worth living and, and help you pull those weeds of anger and frustration. So as always, like, comment, and share if you know someone who could benefit from this and sending you so much love, my friends. Namaste.